Hi, what's up? Shin here from Code and Quick Tips, and today I will show you how to set up a new Slick 2D project. First of all, you will need to create a new Java project. Click File, New, Java Project. You can name it whatever you want, uh, set that in bed. I will name it Test. Press Finish to create the project. After we've created the project, we will need to download some resources that are needed by Slick. I will put um, two download links into the description and if you download the files there, you will get those two files. One is zipped. You will need to unzip it. Just unzip it with, with your favorite program and you will get those two, um, yeah, those two files. As a next step, we will need to include them to our project. First, I would go to the lwjgl folder. And here we need the jar and the native folder. Highlight both and then drag them on top of your project. Just drag them here. And this window will show up. Select copy files and folders and press OK. Now we have included those files to our project. Next we will need to include the slick jar into our project. Just take the slick jar and drag it to the jar folder in your project. Select copy files and press OK. Now we have copied all the files we need into our project. Now we will need to yeah, actually bind the jars to our project so that the compiler will see that we want to use them. For that you can right click on your project and hit properties. A new window will pop up. Um, there you should select Java build paths and then libraries. Here you must press add jars to add the jars that we need. We will need the jars from the jar folder. They are called slick.jar and lwjgl.jar. Select them and press OK. Now we have include the, included them to our project. Press OK to close this window. To actually run Slick, we will need to add some native files too. Native files are files that are needed by Java um, platform, platform dependent, so you will need different files on Windows, Solaris, Mac or Linux systems. To import them, I recommend you to do this in code, in your main method, at the first line. I prepared a line of code, which will automatically include those native files to your project. You only need to add them to the first line of your main method. For that, you can just create a new class, which will be your main class. Make sure you select the main method and press finish to create the new class. Inside of this new class you will need to add the line of code that I will post in the description into the first line. This line of code will select the right folder for the natives um, for the yeah, operating system on which you are running the tool. So for example if you execute your char on a Windows machine, this line of code will include the Windows folder to your project. Uh, this line will show up some errors at first because we need to import some, um, some definitions. Just hover over the errors and you will see that you can import them. Just click import here and hover over this error and click import. Here we go, that's it, you have set up Slick2D successful. In the next tutorial I will cover how to create your first window and I will show you some basic stuff in Slick2D. I hope you enjoyed, please give me some feedback or like the video. See you next time.